Yes, Raiders, and welcome back for this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Molly Hamilton. And I'm Melissa Durham. The Power Force Thought of the Week, researched by Fight Crime, reports that 60% boys who were bullied from 1st to 9th grade were convicted of one crime by the time they were 24, and 40% had three or more by then. If you're looking for scholarship opportunities, there are many listed on the school's website. Check there or talk to your counselor for more information. If you are looking for experience in leadership and working as a team, the Peoria Riverfront Museum can help. They are taking volunteers for this summer. Call the number or email address on the screen with any questions if you are interested. Speaking of off-campus opportunities for students, if you've been listening to us our Christian during the Raider Hour, you probably already know about the different off-campus opportunities available to students through our co-op programs. One of the work-based learning programs is for interested students who have the desire to become EMTs. Let's take an inside look at what the program has to offer. My name is Dan Decker. I'm um, the instructor for the EMT class. It's a lot of fun. I love teaching the class. I think we'll all have fun. Uh, joining the class as well. We do a lot of things that most students don't get to do. Uh, obviously you'll have class and, and you come in and, uh, through the week, probably three days a week, sometimes four days a week, we'll have class and the other two days you'll get to ride along with the ambulance uh, in East Peoria. And that is a blast. They get to go on all the calls that the firefighters and uh, EMS personnel get to go on. Whether it's a fire, car wreck, uh, medical call, they get to go on and be part of the crew. It's something that most students don't get to do, most high school students don't get to do, so uh, you have a great opportunity in East Peoria uh, to be able to be part of this class. Hopefully you can make a decision to come uh, join. If you have any questions at all, feel free to call me, get a hold of me, and uh, I'll answer any questions that you might have, but it's a lot of fun. It's one of those classes that you will remember for the rest of your life. Uh, those of you that are going into medicine and those of you that are, may choose not to, you'll still remember this class and you'll really enjoy it. Sophomores, you have a class assembly today, Monday, February 26th, in Raider Hour about prom. Boys tennis starts today at ICC as long as the weather is decent. Remember to have a physical on file and you have received a yellow card. You can still sign up. See Mr. Moore in the athletic office for more information. That's not all, but that's all we have time for today. For the full set of announcements, listen to Chris Laredo at the beginning of every Raider Hour or go to the EP website. Now let's get an inside look with Kevin in the Tama Talk. It was senior night Friday night at Allison Gym as the boys basketball team honored seniors Mike Fuller, Braden Lowry, and Cole Morton. We're going to see Cole Morton get things going here for the Raiders with a pair of free throws. The Raiders started out hot, eventually building a 9-2 lead on this pick and roll from Junior Anas Abdallah to Luke Huff. Anas going to drive the lane and find Luke for the baseline jumper. Then Mike Fuller took over. The big senior takes the feed from his fellow classmate, Cole Morton. Then the wraparound pass from Carson Forbes for the layup. And finally, we see Big Mike with the tough box out here in the soft putback as the Raiders built a 21-11 lead. But Metamora rallied at halftime for a 22-21 lead. At halftime, we saw the cheerleaders honor their seniors, Maddie Acribo, Alyssa Durham, and Emma Williams with this tumbling routine. Next up, the Raiderettes follow the lead of seniors Dayton Doring and Brittany Harlow through this routine. In the second half, the Raiders stayed close, at one point trailing 37-36 on a three-pointer by Anas Abdallah but Metamora hit its free throws down the stretch to pull away for a 51-36 win. Thank you, seniors, for all you've done for East Peoria Athletics. This next segment of Inside the Tribe is brought to you by Will Carty and Ty Asia.
What is your name? My name is Antonio. Antonio, what are you eating? Donuts. What kind of donuts? Cinnamon donuts. Why cinnamon donuts? Because they're good. Aren't they spicy? No. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure. Do you want to bet? No, I'm not betting. Smart. Gambling's legal to your 18. What is your name? Karina. <laughs> okay, okay, Karina. Would you say we're friends? Yeah. Quick, quick. Good friends? Good friends? Good. I mean, well, good, good enough friends. I don't really know you, but yeah, I'm friends with everybody. Okay. Not everybody. And would you agree with me that sometimes friends help each other? Yeah. And so, like, would that involve money? Yeah. If, like, a friend ever needs money from me, like, it depends on what it is, you know? Okay, can I have some money? <laughs> yeah, here you go. <laughs> I'm just kidding. You're just kidding. Okay. What is your name? Katie. Katie. Big question for you. Yes. What is the best type of light for fish to grow? For fish to grow? Best type of light? Best type of light. Light? What color do they like? What will make them grow big and strong? Good bones. Oh, probably a sunlight. Sunlight. The fish do like that. Yeah. What is your name? Emily Gowitz. Emily, do you play an instrument? Um, I used to. I used to play clarinet. How did that go for you? Uh, pretty good, I guess. Could you still play it? <laughs> Probably not. Could you try for me? I don't have one. Why not? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think Emily hates it. <laughs> what is your name? Kylie Schaefer. All right, Kylie. Big question for you. Okay. Say I've got a balloon. This is a, it's a big balloon. And it's full of hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. How many kids would that make happy? Zero, because hot chocolate is gross. What is your name? My name is Emily Lathini. Alright, Emily, I've got a bunch of little more questions for you to answer. Super. Really gotta get this. If you melt cheese on an owl, will it scream? No, I think it would who. Yes. Can you do an impression for me? Like a who, who. That's the sound you make when you're done. You melt the cheese on you. You never said it was hot. I never said it was hot. I just said it was melted. No, so it could not. It could be cold. It could be. Could be. Save the owls. Fondelac District Library is seeking a responsible, dependable, and detail-oriented individual man with an enthusiastic full trials will begin Monday, February 26th. Our seat will begin after school until approximately 5.30 p.m. Freshmen and sophomores will begin at 5 p.m. with a shoot day for spikes. The trial should end at 7.30 p.m. Trials will continue through Wednesday. Thank you and have a great, great day. Welcome back to this week's Extracurriculars, Raiders. Today, Monday, February 26th, boys varsity basketball is away at regionals. Boys freshman basketball is away at the Elmwood Tourney. Tuesday, February 27th, boys varsity basketball is away at regionals. Wednesday, February 28th, boys varsity basketball is away at regionals. Thursday, March 1st, boys varsity basketball is away at regionals. When will they return? There are no events Friday, March 2nd. Saturday, March 3rd, Boys Varsity Track is away at the normal U-High invite at 9 a.m. There are no events Sunday, March 4th. That's all for this week. Thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of Inside the Tribe. I'm Connor Mounts. And I'm Dawson Double Dare. And from everyone here at Inside the Tribe, have, have a great, great Raider Day. day.